not have brooches or crowns. The things of value we wear around our neck. So lay is everything to the poor Kanaka. The feather lay was worn by women of rank. But only in recent years, I've spent most of my time delving into the art of kapa making. Once, some of us say, lost to the women of Hawaii. Others of us say, only sleeping and resting to come back again and to make the splash that we made in days gone by. The art that we make gives face to our ancestors and face to our future. My grandmother said that art, our art, is our face. It's who we are. It's what we are. It's in our things. It's in our bracelets, our blankets, our paintings, our carvings. And that's who we are. I hear the stories of the suffering and the pain and the loss and I can relate to them but there has to be a path otherwise the anger will consume you so that's what this is about the whales guided us and for me they've guided us back to here the Maori live here on our islands he's still here and he's here uh, carrying our younger siblings. You are our prophets, whether you know it or not, because artists are prophets, anarchists, peacemakers, warriors. Always have been. Our culture is built on love and respect for everything. Artists are the ones that shine the light for people to see. That's our job. These are celebrations, aren't they? They're celebrations of our culture. They're celebrations of our friendships. But mostly, they're celebrations of our survival. We continue to exist, and you artists give face to that existence. And so that's grounds, huge grounds, for celebration. <laughs>